In 1862, at the height of the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln signed a law that created the nation's land-grant colleges. This is the story of Oregon's land-grant university and the college that started it all. In 1868, the young state of Oregon was granted land to sell for its land-grant college. Two years later, the first class graduated from Oregon's new agricultural college. Meanwhile, the Oregon Trail was delivering thousands of newcomers to Oregon. The Oregon Agricultural Experiment Station was established to help newcomers farm these new lands. At first, professors from the Oregon Agricultural College reached far-flung rural communities by horseback or train. They carried magic lantern lectures. Popular bulletins included how to dry prunes, grow hemp, and can cheese. To meet the demand for locally specific research, the college built branch experiment stations where researchers lived and worked on modern technologies for rural communities. These researchers were soon joined by agents of the new Oregon State Extension Service. Together, they helped mobilize food and fiber production during World War I. After the war, Extension adopted wartime radio for peacetime broadcasts of farm reports and home economics. The college's station, KOAC, grew to become Oregon Public Broadcasting. As farming diversified, the college established new branch experiment stations to investigate sustainable agriculture from the desert to the sea. As industry increased, so did the environmental impacts. Fish kills on the Willamette River and overgrazing on the high desert prompted new research on water and rangeland ecosystems. No one knew the local communities better than the research and extension agents who lived there. During the Great Depression, they ran federal emergency relief programs. And when the Second World War broke out, they managed statewide programs to conserve resources and boost food production. Wartime technology once again spurred peacetime discoveries in human health, food production, and the life of the ocean. The post-war boom brought twin challenges, to feed a rapidly expanding world population and stem the tide of pollution. New farmers markets and farming methods offered sustainable options for farms of all sizes in Oregon and around the world. New environmental laws prompted new research focused on sustainability. In Newport, the new Hatfield Marine Science Center housed the nation's first marine experiment station, the first marine extension agent, and the nation's premier Marine Mammal Research Institute. Innovation continued from farm to table. Fermentation sciences bubbled to the top. OSU's Food Innovation Center, one of the nation's first urban experiment stations, opened in Portland's Pearl District. Oregon was an environmental leader when the spotted owl flew into the headlines. The fate of Northwest salmon soon followed. OSU scientists were instrumental in developing science-based plans to restore biodiversity to federal forests and waterways as the global population reached 6 billion. When a stretch of the Portland Harbor was declared a Superfund site, OSU environmental toxicologists waded into the problems posed by industrial chemicals. Their work using zebrafish led to new discoveries, including the invention of a simple wristband to monitor a person's exposure to more than a thousand environmental toxins. Agricultural research continued to address a wide range of critical issues, from rural economics, to genomics, to wine. Agricultural Extension faculty helped Eastern Oregon communities find common ground in a healthy rangeland, and they helped understand the plight of pollinators. OSU plant breeders continued to push quality foods and beverages into the future, from new hops and barley to a seaweed that tastes like bacon. And food science students, mentored by industry leaders, took on the world with award-winning student-made beer and cheese. At Oregon State University, we're working to help the world feed itself, conserve the world's resources, protect human health, and create sustainable industries. It's a big job, and we've been doing it for 150 years.